Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is the Morning Mindset Edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. I am Kerry Green, and I am here on these Morning Mindset Editions to help you start your day with some encouragement and truth from the scriptures. We've been looking at Romans chapter 6, and Paul has built a case for each of us who are Christ followers needing to develop a new mindset about ourselves because of the truth of what Jesus has done for us. And what he has pointed out is that when Jesus died, we died with him. Our old sinful self died with him. And when he rose from the grave, we rose with him. And by virtue of that, we have a new identity. And he says that because of our new identity, we are to go to war against sin. And one of the things he said in verse number 13 of chapter 6 of the book of Romans that I mentioned yesterday is something I want to expand on today. He says, do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness. And by members, he means the members of your body. So don't present yourself to sin as an instrument for unrighteousness. But instead, present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life. And present your members to God as instruments for righteousness. Now, I think that we all understand what he's saying. You know, don't give yourself to sin. Don't do things that offer yourself to sin to be used by it as an instrument of unrighteousness. Think of instrument as a tool or as something you use to produce some outcome. And he's saying, don't present yourself to sin, that sin can use you as an instrument. But I think there are often times, and perhaps even many ways, in which we do, either knowingly or unknowingly, present ourselves to sin as instruments of unrighteousness. What could some of those be? Well, I think too often, we allow ourselves far too much latitude when it comes to our entertainment choices. Now, be patient with me here. You may be thinking to yourself, oh, here we go. He's going to rail on movies. He's going to rail on TV. You know, I'm not going to rail on anything. What I'm trying to do here is to unpack the reality of what Paul is talking about. He's saying, don't present yourself to sin as an instrument of unrighteousness. So how could that look in everyday life? Well, if you struggle with issues of lust, it could look like you placing yourself in a position where you're going to see images that might lead you into lust in movies or television shows that are not virtuous in those ways could very easily do that. And I know you know what I'm talking about. Don't allow yourself to get defensive. Allow yourself to get tender and humble as you listen to this. If we are going to take this seriously, if we truly want to live out this life that Paul has described, where sin has no dominion over us because we're under grace, not law, then we need to take this seriously. We need to apply what Paul is saying and not let sin reign in our mortal bodies by not presenting ourselves to sin as instruments for unrighteousness. What are some other contexts in which we might present ourselves as an instrument of unrighteousness? Well, I think often it could be on the sports field, it could be in the locker room, it could be around the water cooler at work. We present ourselves as instruments of unrighteousness by trying to be the wittiest or the one who has the most sarcastic comeback or the most cutting retort to someone's comment. And those things, while they seem to be wrapped up in the guise of fun and games and nobody's taking it seriously because we're all joking, those things actually are fomenting and feeding an attitude of criticism, an attitude of, of disrespect, an attitude of unlove toward other real people for whom Christ died. Those are just examples. I want you to examine your own life. What are the ways in which you present yourself as an instrument of unrighteousness? And go to God with that today and ask him to help you deal with it. Join me tomorrow for The Morning Mindset.